Let's make sure we're recording here. Hey Sagittarius, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general, one of your general July readings. Any information you need, you can find it down below, okay? Um, I read on TikTok and Instagram. Now, I read for each sign on Patreon, but I do read on TikTok and Instagram for uh, the Elements Weekly, and I do daily, so if you all want to join me over there on any of those platforms, the links are down below. There's also a link to my other channel and information on my tarot course. Now, Sagittarius, we are going to do uh, three different readings here today. We're going to pick some uh, out of the cauldron here. See what we've got now. These can represent, or these can represent. These can be uh, different tools that I'm going to use here. That could come out. It could be different uh, topics, different like different themes of the reading. It could be different tarot spreads. So we're going to see what we've got here for you, Sagittarius. We're going to do three, and we're just going to open these as we go. So if the first message or the second message isn't resonating, you're well, uh, more than welcome to stick around or skip around. All right. So we're going to pick three. All right, that one fell out. So let's just do it. Okay. Let's see what this one is. All right. What you don't see coming here, Sagittarius. What you don't see coming. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and use uh, Modern Witch Tarot here. And all these readings are different. Like for Virgo, it was really cool. I used the Black Mirror in Virgo because... That was the one that I pulled. Some of them, they'll be like yes or no questions. Some of them, it'll ask me to use the pendulum. So um, I thought it would be fun to switch it up here. Anyhow, Sagittarius, what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming here. Let's see what we get for you. What you don't see coming. Okay, we have the moon. All right, so I feel like, a, sorry, you guys, this is a woodwick candle, and they make those uh, noises. So it's normally just a, a pleasant, like, crackling, you know, and it's, of course, like, but yeah, I do think, uh, you know, with the moon showing up here, there's going to be some kind of, um, there we go. All right. That was, that was getting on my nerves. I was trying to, uh, ignore it, but it was bothering me. The moon showing up, this could say that, um, you know, there are things that you don't know, obviously, like this is what you don't see coming. This can represent secrets. It can represent, uh, emotions, your subconscious. So what's going on here with this? What's going on with the moon for Sagittarius for what they don't see coming? This group of Sagittarius, and this is for Sagittarius, all placements, by the way. Um, what's going on here? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Mm -hmm. A hidden offer. What do we have here? What is this offer? A sale. For some of you, this is a sale. I don't know why I got that, but I did. Um, you could have your own business. Some of you, you're getting a um, like high-paying client or something of that nature. You have the Nine of Cups, like someone who's really going to support you. This could be like a long-term client for some of you here. Um, for others of you, I do feel like you're going to be getting a wish granted, okay? You're going to be getting a wish granted, getting an offer, but there's something else here. Ace of Cups. A lot of you, there's commitment and love that you don't see coming here. Okay, there's commitment and love that you don't see coming. You got two cup cards. You have the moon, which can represent your emotions. Um, but that's the thing. I think that, you know, some of you, there's been something here that's been, like, saddening, you know? What's going on with this energy? So it's like this offer hits out of nowhere, and I think that you are um, very pleased with it, okay? It's like you really needed this. Like, you really needed this check. You really needed this... Um, yeah, because Ten of Swords, my goodness, like things have really been weighing on you here, uh, mentally speaking. Um, some of you have just felt exhausted. You've been able to just do the bare minimum here. Four of Swords, some of you have had some issues um, like with, with stomach pains or headaches. I'm not a doctor, so, uh, you know, I'm not going to diagnose you here or give you any kind of medical advice. So if you feel like this is you, definitely seek medical advice, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, some of you, like a lot of this stuff has leaked into your, your uh, physical well-being so yeah um, a lot of that going on but I do think that uh, you're getting some news about what is happening here and what you can do about it so a lot of you you are seeing a professional you have the seven of swords here though so yeah again I feel like a lot has been going on under that moon okay like there's a lot that's gone on in the dark and you have the ten of swords you have the four of swords like something has been stressing you out here and the seven of swords energy like this is deceit okay this is deceit so there's no sugarcoating that here there is betrayal ten of swords and you already know that if that's for you you already know that however i do think that there i feel as if that comes up that comes out here sagittarius 
before this happens, okay? So it's almost like that Ten of Swords hits and then amazing things start to occur because the Ten of Swords, it does represent an ending. You have the Empress showing up, Taurus and Libra, okay? You have the Ace of Swords showing up, a victory, mental clarity, a breakthrough, Two of Pentacles. You're going to manage just fine, okay? Some of you, you're feeling like, how will I ever go on without that person or without that job or whatever the case may be? It honestly feels like a person with all the uh, water energy we had show up at the beginning, but it was something that was unstable. It put you in your head a lot, okay? It put you in in your head a lot eight of cups and now it's finally over okay and you have something new walking in right behind it okay whether that's a new person a new opportunity it's definitely something life changing here with that empress the, the two aces up here i mean come on my goodness uh, a lot of you guys this is going to involve uh changing your environment here like if you work with this person for example like a new job like it could be coming that could be what's happening here some of you of course you're going to be the one to go towards the new job but you may have felt like oh well i have to do this it's like really upsetting that i have to do this but it's actually going to turn out really well for you for example it's something like that but the empress represents growth like the birth of something new it can represent pregnancy it's divine feminine energy somebody who's very attractive healthy you know so um yeah sagittarius i feel like this is something that's going to be really good for you so you're thinking that something is bad for you and it's actually really good for you or you're thinking that there's going to be something negative to come of a journey that you've taken here uh, or of a decision that you've made. And it's like it's actually a really good decision. It actually brings in um, a lot of emotional and financial fulfillment for you. So let's see what else we have. What are you? Actually, I want to do this one first for some reason. Okay, next three months. Next three months. All right. Next three months. I'm not going to use Modern Witch for that one. I'm going to use... Um, I guess I'll use the Before Tarot or the After Tarot here. Next three months for Sagittarius. Next three months for my Sagittarius people. Also, Sagittarius, um, I will have a reading for you over on Patreon for what Spirit wants you to know right now. Um, unless that's what this is. If that's what this is, then I'm going to do something different. But I will have a reading for you over on Patreon for your specific sign. And on um, Instagram and TikTok, I will have a weekly up for your element. So for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get into the reading here. For your next three months, okay? Wow, okay. Hmm. And it's interesting what we're dealing with here because this is um, this is the after tarot, okay? This is the after tarot. So you have the four of swords, the lovers, and the hair font showing up here. Um, I'm going to cover the lovers because they're indecent, okay? And it's not that I have an issue with that, but YouTube, I just, I like to be safe, okay? Um, they have flagged thumbnails before, so it's just, uh, and you know, you can appeal them and get them taken down. I'd just rather not deal with it, you know? But uh, you have the uh, four of swords here. Some of you, you could have Jupiter in Libra, but there's definitely an angel visiting you here in your sleep. I don't want you to freak out about this. Um, it's not like anything harmful, you know? It's this queen of cups, whoever this is. Like, some of you, this could even be a pet, okay? This could even be a pet who has passed on um or it's a woman okay it's a woman or a pet but there's definitely someone here in the next three months who is visiting you blessing you with good energy here blessing you with guidance so definitely Sagittarius pay very close attention to your dreams okay because I feel like there's a lot of messages coming through about what your next path is like they are sending you blessings from the other side you've got the lovers it is going to involve a decision so it's representing a crossroad here okay and it does look like it has to do with a connection it's like if you want what you want you got to leave what you know 
know behind okay so it's like you are not satisfied with the way life's going something's got to change you know and that sounds so simple but uh you know as adults we we make it so difficult you know um but i feel like you're going to have to give yourself a time frame and that's why the hair font is here so sometime in the next three months um there's something where time is pressing you know so it's like um you're feeling a lot of pressure basically is how that feels within the next three months to decide on something. Um, you know, and it's like, it's so crazy because when, when you're kids, like you, you only give kids so much time to do things. Like I feel like as, as children, there's so much more pressure than you have when you're adults, you know, like people are not, people are not pushing you to do anything. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself, to make proper decisions, to, um, you know, and obviously you're not going to make perfect decisions all the time, but when you know better, you're supposed to do better. And that's something that I feel you're not doing here. You know that something's not good for you and you're staying in the situation anyway, or you know that you can have more and you can do more and be better and you're not doing it. There's something like that that's going on here, Sagittarius, and you have somebody who is pushing you. They're like, hey, I know what all you can be. I'm on the other side. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. So, you need to get up and do that, you know? So I feel like there's um, some structure here, basically, um, that's taking place within the next three months. Like, you're having to make a big decision here to move forward. It's like, it's almost as if you're getting that nudge that, like, a parent or a guardian would give you. Um, and it's because it's coming from that person on the other side. That's why that message about children showed up there. Um, or, or popped up, is what I should say, because there wasn't really anything in the cards that indicated that. But, you know, like... Um, like if a child is taking so long to finish second grade, it's like how long can you expect for that to go on, you know, or third grade, whatever the case may be, how long can you expect for that to go on, you know, so I feel like there's something like that, or that's just an example, it's not something like that, but, you know, I feel as if, um, you know, this person's kind of nudging you in that same manner, like we have to work on this, we have to work on that, you know, we have to get you ahead, we have to get you where you're supposed to be, you know, so um, I feel like that's something that's going on here. Next, you have the Knight of Swords, you have the Tower, you have the Strength card, recovering from a, from a serious loss here, or from a serious, um, what you may have considered a loss. You have the Five of Cups right here um, on the bottom of the deck. So a disappointment, like something um, something didn't work out, something didn't turn out. I shouldn't say it didn't work out, but it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, okay? Um, I'm going to look at this Knight of Swords, excuse me, Sagittarius, a little bit deeper. There's someone you have to stand up to here, and I feel like you setting your boundaries, um, you setting your boundaries isn't going over well, okay? Setting your boundaries isn't going over well, okay? It's causing rage within someone else here, like they are just pushing even harder because you're setting these boundaries here, and you were really, really hoping that by doing this and saying, this is what I need, and this is what I can't have in my life here at this time, like this is, this is what has to to work we need to meet in the middle i feel as if you saying that like you were doing that so you could keep a bond you could keep a connection going and you know this person they saw it as like my way or the highway and i do think that um it's causing some some aggressive energy here like you've got this night is, and i feel like this night is you i feel like you're like you know what i said it uh, you know, I already told you what it was, and you know, you're not you're not paying attention. You're not respecting my boundaries. You're not respecting my wishes. So yeah, tower like the tower has to happen. And a lot of you, I think that's what that decision is. I really do. I think that it's that decision to stand up and say, you know what, actually. <laughs> actually I'm not going to put up with this like I'm not strong enough to put up with this like I have my own things to deal with I have my own things to deal with and you're a whole other person or a whole other group of people whoever it is here like I can't control what it is that you do and I'm not going to force myself to be happy with what it is that you're doing or what it is that you're not giving I'm just going to go and be on my own here and that's exactly what you do and I feel like you recover a lot quicker than you think. I think you recover a lot quicker than you think from this here, okay? You have the Six of Swords showing up. Uh, some of you, there's a move that takes place. Um, but he's arriving at his destination in the Six of Swords. So I feel like you guys do get to where it is that you want to go in that Six of Swords um, energy here. And there is help along the way. Or you run into, um, you know, some helpful individuals. I feel like you run into people who are more like you. You know, you run into people who want to help versus just wanting to drain, you know, just wanting to take all the help and not give anything, right? You're running into those kinds of people who are going to actually give back. They're like, wow, you look like you need some, some help, you know? You look like you are lost, you know? You look like, um, you know, I don't know, but that, that's the energy that I feel here. Somebody who can, who can feel you and they notice you, you know? And it's not just one person either. Like, I feel like this is a lot of people here, Sagittarius. Like, you are really finding your group here. You're really finding your people. 
And um, next you have the Five of Pentacles showing up. Five of Pentacles is typically um, a bad card, okay? But it being in this deck, I feel like you're actually getting back what was taken from you, okay? She's got this sack over her, thrown over her shoulder here. You're getting back what someone took from you, basically. I feel as if a lot of people have taken from you in your lifetime and never bothered to offer anything back or never bothered to recognize that that was never your role to begin with. And, you know, I think that that's something that uh, you're deciding, you know what, actually give that back. Actually, I'm going to take that back. That was mine. Actually, you can have this crap back. That was never mine. You know, there's a lot of that energy going on, just putting things where they actually go, okay? Putting energies where they belong. Let's see what this one is here. Classic Celtic Cross, okay? And I'm not going to use this deck here for that. Classic Celtic Cross. All right, this is for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. Classic Celtic Cross. I'm also going to do a collective, so please be sure that you watch the collective. I'm going to try to do those daily if I can, um, you know, just so everybody will have a message every day over on the channel, okay? So, let's see. Classic Celtic Cross for Sagittarius. Heart of the matter is the Seven of Swords. Okay, all right. Page of Wands crossing you. What are you working towards? The Death card? What do you not see? Okay. Past. The world. Near future. Seven of Wands. Your feelings. It's coming towards you. <coughs> Hopes and fears. And outcome. Great. Okay. Okay, I want to put this deck over here aside and I want to look at these really quick because we got a lot going on. Okay, we got a lot going on. Interesting that that's your environment and this is what's crossing you here. Hmm. Some of you, there could be issues with a fellow fire sign here or with an air sign, okay? Um, but you do have the Seven of Swords showing up here. I feel like you're trying really hard to, like, set up camp or to, like, there's there's something like that going on here where you're like, I need to get this set up. I need to get this going. I need to get this working. Like, that is the heart of the matter. What you're working towards is a giant change, okay? You are working towards a giant change. You got the death card right here. Some of you, you're working towards an ending. But what, what, what is crossing you is this page of wands here, Okay. That is what's crossing you. And I feel as if there's some, like, there's some kind of fear going on, basically. Because this can represent what's challenging you or, like, what's in the way or what's causing this. It's like you need some adventure or you need something new here. You understand that there should be some more expansion than there is. Like, you're like, there should be more than there is. You know, it's not that you're not happy with what you have, but it's just that you know you can have more. So why not? Why not create more? Why not create more when you can do that, okay? You have the world showing up in your past. So a chapter has definitely closed. Um. But I do feel as if you're working towards even bigger change than that. In the near future, you do have the Seven of Wands. I do feel as if you're about to get ready for battle, okay? But it feels like it's a positive battle. You do have the Eight of Swords showing up and what you don't see, okay? So you have this person cutting you free here in the Eight of Swords. So... Yeah, I do feel as if you are in a space where you are about to get some help that you never expected to get, or you're about to become your own rescuer. You're about to set yourself free. A lot of you, you just, some of you, there's a fire sign here, a fellow fire sign, maybe a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, um... I get Libra here too, who could be, um, you know, blocking the things that you're trying to do, blocking your expansion. This person, they need to pull their own weight, if that's the case, okay? There's somebody here who is not pulling their weight, like you're doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, as for your feelings, you have the Page of Swords. You feel very hesitant, but you're about to say something, okay? You're about to say something, and you're like, you know, it's one of those things where I feel like your heart's racing, your palms are sweating, you know, you're, you're, you're shaking, you know, it's one of those things here, Sagittarius, where I feel like it is a stressful conversation conversation but you're like it has to happen it has to happen because knight of wands there's this pressure 
coming into your energy. There's this pressure coming into your energy, like move and move fast, move and move fast, expand fast. You know, it's not like there's this danger, but there's this, like, there, there is a danger, you know, long term and not doing all it is that you can do. And, you know, you've been sitting around for a while here. And I think that's a fear of yours. That's showing up as your hopes and fears. Like you want peace. You want to have gratitude, but it's hard to have gratitude here in a situation when you know that you, that you could be doing more, you know? So it's like, you're, you're in a space where you're trying to be happy with what you have while trying to also, you know, work on improvements, work on doing more, expanding more, adding more uh, value to your life and to the world. And I think that that's something that you're absolutely going to be doing. You know, there's no doubt about that. But I feel like the pressure to get there, like the pressure to speak on people who are in the way, like, hey, I need you to move out of my way. Um, that is what's causing the issue here. That conversation is what is stressing you because it's like, if I do this, like, what if I upset them? What if they leave my life? And guess what? If that's, if that's their reaction to you trying to grow and expand, then that's, the, that's on them. Okay. That's on them. They can sit in that crummy energy by themselves. You know, you have the three of wands right here as your outcome. So absolutely in a leadership position here. Okay. We have sun and Aries energy. This is hitting a new level. Ships are coming in. Okay. Like, I feel like there's a lot going on for you in the future. Like that's the outcome of this. I feel like you're able to also get the help that you need. You know, three of wands can be delegation. I feel like you're able to get the help that you need. Help you never knew was out there. Commitment and love you never knew was out there with the ace of pentacles energy. Like there's a lot happening for you in the future here Sagittarius so I actually really love that you know it looks like um you know some stressful energy getting there but the reward you know my goodness the reward <laughs> um and like I said these readings are all different so please be sure to watch out for your other signs okay don't forget that I do have um you know I, I read on Patreon for each sign I read for each element on TikTok and Instagram as well as daily energies um and I do have a collective like you all all that information is down below there's um some information on my tarot course as well if you're interested but Sagittarius if this is where we part thank you all so much for watching and supporting me this far I really appreciate you and I will see you next time bye